Welcome to this brief guide on how to send direct messages on Mastodon. One of the most confusing components of using Mastodon for a new user is the direct messages feature, as it's quite different to what you might have experienced on previous platforms. So today I'm going to cover direct messages and how to utilize them. Here you'll notice on my Mastodon client that I have a direct messages option in my context menu on the side here. However, this is not actually where I'll be going to create a new message. There are two ways I can create a new message and I'll cover them both today. The first is directly from a user's post. So here Jam has had a bit of a hot take and I wanna make a comment directly to Jam about it. So I can use the ellipsis menu shown in the corner of the post and in the context menu that arrives, I can select the option in the middle that says direct message. Selecting this option is going to do a couple of things. The first of which is it's gonna create a post, but what you'll notice above it is that there's a message there that lets me know that the posts on Mastodon are not end-to-end -end encrypted. That's because this is not like a regular messaging service. This is essentially creating a regular post like you would normally do, but there's a difference here. You'll notice that the privacy settings for this particular post have been adjusted to the mentioned people only. This is despite the fact that my personal preferences on my account say that my default is to make all of my posts public. In this instance, it's only going to be for the mentioned people. So here I can let Jam know that I think this is a bit of a hot take potentially here. And now that I've got my comment ready to send, you'll notice that the publish icon actually has a little padlock on it. This padlock is to let you know that your post is going to have a limited visibility. In this case, it's just going to be visible to me and Jam. Now, if I wanted to, I can adjust that setting and make it public. And now if I was to do this, this just turns it essentially into a regular post, except for the fact that I've tagged Jam in my post. Now I'm going to delete that. And we're going to talk about the second way, which is to directly mention a user. So here in my post, I'm going to type in the at symbol, and I'm going to begin to type in a user that I follow. You'll notice that we get autocomplete suggestions. And in this case, I'm trying to comment on Jez here. I want to send him a bit of a message. So I have now tagged Jez in my post and I can begin to type in my message. But first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the visibility to mentioned people only. Now I get that same prompt about the end-to-end -end encryption. And that's because now I have essentially converted this regular post into a direct message. So I'm going to say, hey there, bro, what's up? Now, unlike messaging platforms on other services, if I was to use the at mention and tag another user in this post, this user will then also be able to see this post. So this is now no longer a direct message, but it's now more of a group message. So I know on other platforms, you can potentially tag a user inside a direct message that you're sending to someone else. In this case, that is not possible. Now that I've got my message ready, if I was to publish it, both George and Jez would be able to see it. Now that I've potentially sent those messages, if I want to view my direct messages, that's what this direct messages option is for. Selecting here will show me any of the posts where it's become a direct message, but you'll notice there's no way to create a direct message inside here. Here I have one of my direct messages that's been sent to me. This one was sent yesterday, but what you'll notice is that I actually can't boost this particular post. And that's because it's been sent as a direct message with limited visibility. I can, however, still utilize the starring function to favorite the message. And I can also initiate a reply using the reply button, which will begin a post just like we'd expect. But what you'll notice is that it's tagged both of the users and it's also set the visibility to mentioned people only, just like we'd expect as it's continuing that direct message. So whilst these posts are still in the timeline, they are only visible to the users in question instead of clogging up everyone else's timelines. And that is how you use direct messages in Mastodon. I hope you found this tip extremely useful and I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, be sure to check out the channel. And if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.